What's up guys, this is Andrew with Diamond Graphics. So we wanted to do a little basic overview on knifeless tape. This is something that we use at Diamond Graphics uh, pretty much every day for every project. Uh, knifeless tape is made by 3M. Uh, there's a couple different varieties for different applications. So we're just gonna go a real basic overview of how it works and what the different types are. The one that we probably use the most is Design Line with this yellow inside. This one is a, a thin one that's very easily flexible. So we'll just kind of show you how they work. So for your basic knifeless tape, what it is, it's actually a tape with a filament in the, in the center of it. So this is Design Line. This is the one we most commonly use. Um, it's very flexible, very thin. It's easily broken, so you can just rip it like that. So sometimes you gotta be careful when pulling the filament. But I'll lay a couple different ones out and just show you the basics on how to use it. So because design line is so thin, you're able to do, if you want, you can do some little curves, you can do all sorts of stuff. Well, it's not that pretty, but there you go. And since it's so thin, you can literally just pull it and break it, but the filament's still under that green tape. Um, another one that we use, uh, this is called finish line. So this one has a different filament in it, which is actually much harder. I almost can't break it with my hands. So if you have a really thick film that you want to use that for, kind of show you how that goes on. Another common one we use is bridge line. This is something we use if we need uh, usually if we're doing any cuts underneath the car where we want um, more green filament to kind of help the knifeless tape stay, this filament is much thicker as well, but the cut is not as clean. Another really useful one is Tri-Line, and this comes in a six millimeter and a nine millimeter. Basically, this one has, this one has three filaments inside the green tape. So you can cut a pin stripe, you can cut, you can get creative with this one. You can cut pin stripes, you can leave little gaps and stuff. We'll kind of show you how that one works as well. So when you're applying this to a vehicle, obviously, you know, if you have to do a straight line or something, you want to make sure it's straight. Uh, if you're lining up stripes, if you're doing custom flames or something, basically, you know, you clean the vehicle, you lay the knifeless tape, and then you put the vinyl on top of it. And you can see it shows through in the vinyl. So if this was on a car, normally I'd use a heat gun and kind of heat it up a little bit, but just for demonstration purposes, a lot of times people struggle with pulling the knifeless if they're not, if they're not used to it. So the first two strings, um, these are very thick filaments that aren't going to break if you pull it improperly. So there's no real way to kind of break the string on this one. But what you want to do is fold it over put your thumb on this side and then give it an whoops and then give it a nice tug. So now I have the filament cutting the vinyl from the back. And then once you made that cut and you no longer want this and then you go ahead and you pull the green filament. You pull the green filament and then press it down. Now you probably won't be able to see this on camera but this cut is uh, kind of jagged if you were to look look at it up close. So that's why this thicker one with the thicker fill, uh, thicker filament is only used for certain areas. So this second one here is finish line. This again also has that really thick filament so you're not gonna break it, but you wanna fold it over, press down, and give it a tug. You just wanna pull the filament through that green part. Again, you can pull it and then you pull away the green. And again, you have a nice cut. 
Again, this one is also a little more jagged because it's a thicker filament than the finish line, which we'll do next, which is what we most commonly use. So with the finish line, what most people have issues with is breaking the filament. So you can see how easy, how easily that breaks. So when you're starting to pull it, you wanna be very careful, kinda of gentle. Same process though, you fold it over, you stick a hand there and you just gently pull until you feel it actually come through the filament. And then you pull it. And this is gonna be your cleanest cut for knifeless. Now, if you can see up close, I don't know if you can on camera, but again, this is a super, super fine cut. So that's the one we like to use probably 90% of the time. So another one is the knifeless tri-line. So this also has the fragile filament, just like the design line, but now you have three filaments in here. So if you're trying to pull it, you wanna be very careful to get all three of them at once. So let's say you wanna make a pinstripe. So instead of pulling all three filaments, I'm gonna take a knife and just, and just cut that middle one. So now I have the two outside ones. I'll just pull it the same I would with any other knifeless. But now, now I have a perfectly even gap that I can use for depending on the project, but it's very helpful. So those are pretty much the basic how-to's overview on knifeless tape. If you guys have any specific questions, feel free to leave us a message. And if you like the video, go ahead and like and subscribe.